If you've lost a lot of weight with intermittent fasting, how do you maintain that weight loss? So this is a super important topic. I've talked about maintenance a little bit before in the past, but I wanted to specifically talk about how it relates to intermittent fasting because this is something that I did um, wonder about in the beginning. You know, in the beginning, I thought, well, I'll lose the weight with intermittent fasting, but I'm going to go back to eating three times a day or however much I want during the day. That was my original plan. But eventually I realized, you know, I can't go back to eating the way I used to eat because I will gain all the way back if I do that. So I had to figure out, like, what am I going to do? So when I got down to 157, uh, that was back in like November of 2016, I decided, okay, I'm really happy here. And I was, I was really happy with the way I looked. And I was really curious, like, is it going to be really hard to maintain this loss? From that time, all the way until September 2017, I maintained that loss. And then at that point, I decided I wanted to lose a few more pounds. And that's what I'm doing right now. But when I was maintaining, I wanted to experiment. And that's what I did. I was constantly experimenting with different, you know, eating patterns and stuff. What I was really looking for was how loosey-goosey can I be with this and still keep the weight off? And so I had a couple of ground rules for myself. The first one was I'm going to continue to weigh every single day. I'm going to keep up with my seven day average and just see where I'm at. And I also gave myself the five pound leeway. I told myself I'm not going to worry uh, unless I start to see my seven day average get above 162. At that point I knew I needed to say okay we need to tweak it back down a little bit because I'm getting too far out. So one thing I do regret is I didn't keep really good records of exactly what I did and exactly how it affected my weight. I do know it was very easy overall to maintain my loss within that five pound range. So here's what I found. The first thing I found was I really enjoyed intermittent fasting just as a way of life. I really get a lot accomplished. I feel mentally sharper and I just feel more energetic on those days where I'm doing intermittent fasting as opposed to if I just wake up, I have breakfast and then lunch and dinner and you know snacks. A pretty consistent thing with me during that period of maintenance was skipping breakfast on purpose. Because again, I like big meals and that's just something I, you know, I can't have three big meals a day and still keep the weight off. That's just not going to happen for me. So as far as meals go, what generally worked for me was either having lunch and then supper, but no snacks afterwards, or having my first meal being supper and then eating until, you know, whenever I went to bed and having snacks and things like that with my husband after the kids went to bed, which I really preferred. To me, that was like, I, it felt so indulgent to be able to, you know, do that. And again, I really enjoy having my first meal be in the evening. So what really worked for me was continuing to have some sort of boundaries with food. And for me, what worked was the time boundaries. And what I would encourage you to do is experiment for yourself. Figure out, you know, what do you prefer? What is your preferred way of eating? Is it having three meals a day? Or is it eating once a day? Or is it eating, you know, twice a day? A lot of people I've talked to, once they've gotten down to one meal a day, they really prefer it. You know, it's like, you find out how productive you can be. So once I get down to, you know, my goal weight now, my plan is to probably go to eating, you know, uh, have my first meal be supper and then snack around maybe. Uh, I might also experiment with lunch or maybe even a later lunch and supper. Um, I'll just continue to track, see where I'm at and go from there. So that's what worked for me. If you have lost weight with intermittent fasting and then you've maintained that loss, did you go back to eating three meals a day? Did you continue intermittent fasting? What did you do? If you don't mind, leave it in the comments below. I love it because people, you know, will share what they've done, what works for them, what they found. And we all learn from that. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.